My guest today is the mayor of Walnut, Mayor Andrew Rodriguez. Tim, mayor, welcome. Thank you for having me. It's great to have you. So why don't you uh, well, tell us a little bit about yourself. What did sure. You do? So uh, I have the honor and privilege of serving as the 31st mayor of Walnut. A uh, lifelong resident of Walnut with the exception of college. Um, went to Walnut schools from kindergarten through 12th grade. Uh, I'm a graduate of Rutgers University in New Jersey, go Scarlet Knights, and I recently finished my uh, Master's of Real Estate Development at USC this past May. Terrific. So I've been on City Council three years now, um, been mayor since July, and it's such a fun uh, honor and it's a great privilege. Great. Well, I, I feel like Walnut is my home away from home. I went to Mount Sac, so mm -hmm. I have to ask you about uh, Mount San Antonio College, Yeah, uh, Mount Sac. Yeah, there's a lot going on at Mount Sac right now. Um, they are going to be hosting uh, uh, opening ceremony for the new uh, renovated uh, football stadium. Um, it's been there since the 40s, and um, it's going to be truly a world-class facility, and we're very excited about it, and it should be opening, I think, in April of 2020. We're looking forward to to checking it out and there's going to be other facility, athletic facilities around the site and uh, hopefully we'll attract some um, some great events there. So Walnut's such an interesting city, If I correct me if I'm wrong, but the residential population is around 30,000 residents. Correct. But you have 60,000 students yes. at Mount Sac, yes. so <laughs> yeah. plus the employees, the teachers and other yeah. folks at the college. So Yeah, Mount Sac is, is definitely uh, a huge part of our community. It's the largest community college in, in the state of California. Um, 60,000 students enrolled. Um, so we, we get uh, a lot of traffic, uh, especially around Grand and Amar. Um, but I do think it's a huge asset and um, we're lucky to have them in our city. Yeah, great. So tell us a little bit about some of the uh, developments that you have uh, going. At, at sure, the... yeah. Um, well, first and foremost, I think the most exciting uh, thing that we just completed was uh, our general plan update. Um, for those of you who don't know what a general plan is, it's the land use document that guides development and growth in a city. And every city in California is required to have it. Um, <clears throat> usually cities do it every five to ten years. Um, Walnut hadn't completed or updated its general plan since 1978. Um, so uh, it was a great opportunity and um, when I got elected to council in 2016, uh, our city manager called me into his office, sat me down and he's like, all right, Andrew, we haven't done this since 1978. What do you want Walnut to look like um, in the year 2040, 2045? And so I was like, okay, that's, that's a, I can get creative about that. And so um, it's exciting. We, we upzoned several areas of the city. Um, we have new mixed use zones, so we're allowing for denser housing. We want um, uh, more walkable neighborhoods, and we've identified certain areas um, in the peripheral areas of the city. So um, the three main areas that we targeted were the West Valley uh, area, so it's the West Valley specific plan. There's a specific plan in place. Um, that's on the far southwest corner of the city, um, so on the border of West Covina and City of Industry, um, around the fairway area, between fairway and Lemon. So uh, north of the train tracks, uh, that whole area is a, a new mixed-use zone. We approved one mixed-use project. It's small, about three residential units above a little commercial space, but um, it's hopefully the first of many that we'll see over the next 15, 20 years, and we have several in the pipeline. Um, another area we have uh, is uh, around Amar Nogales, so also on the border with West Covina. Um, larger area, um, we have a two, uh, we just approved a townhome component, a townhome project, excuse me, um, this past year. So it's about uh, close to 40 townhomes coming in, and another project, also housing, coming in as well. And we also rezoned the area next to Mount Sac uh, for mixed use as well. So. Um, it's, it's, it's awesome and uh, it's, it's, I think it's the way of the future and we're looking forward to seeing a new type of housing product in our city, which is very exciting. Yeah, sounds great. So the, so the general plan, of course, it lays out the zoning for Correct. the land uses across the city. So yeah. more accommodating uh, land uses could have allow uh, housing to be built. And yeah. I guess the city, cities today are kind of having to transition uh, a little bit as as we see internet, the internet and more internet sales happening year yeah. after year, 
you know, I guess the city a long time, you know, decades ago, they relied on having that commercial, commercial real estate company, yeah. for their sales tax. But, you know, with the internet, it's that's just kind of going to yeah. be going away over time. So yeah. the cities are going to have to, you know. Really walk that line. And <laughs> retail's changing as well. Um, right. A lot of tenants want smaller footprints. And um, so we're, we're cognizant of that. And we want to create um, experiential places that residents can go and enjoy. And, and so our visitors as well. I think that generates uh, popularity with a lot of the tenants in uh, commercial real estate right now. Is there a message you would like to convey to uh, realtors if they uh, maybe they're going to be taking someone uh, you know to Walnut they've, that's currently yeah. living somewhere else and they, they got a, a, a listing or a showing they're going to take someone? What, what would be a message? Yeah, to Walnut is a great community. Um, we just uh, were listed as a top three most financially uh, stable cities in the, in the San Gabriel Valley by the state auditor. Um, it's a great community. We have outstanding public schools. I am a product of, of the public school district, and I can attest that it, it's fantastic. Um, and we have a lot of opportunity coming all, along. We just approved uh, close to 290 residential units. Um, that development is uh, is is being done. Uh, that was approved by, or excuse me, it was done by Sun Joint Development and Shea Homes. Um, and so uh, grading should begin very shortly. Um, but it's a great community. We're very diverse. We're centrally located um, between Los Angeles, uh, the Inland Empire, and Orange County. So we're very centrally located, a wonderfully diverse community. There's a lot going on, and um, it's really the best place um, to call home, in my opinion. A lot of hills. When you're, a lot of hills, if you're walking yeah. the neighborhood, you're going to get a, a good and, exercise. And 30 miles of, of horse trails as well. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize that. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, Walnut is certainly beautiful, and uh, I'm sure you're glad and, and proud yeah, to be the mayor there. Yeah, uh, it's, it's an amazing opportunity. Um, we have a beautiful community, um, and uh, we have some very exciting things coming up in the future, and uh, it's, a great, it's a great place to call home, that's for sure. Mayor Andrew Rodriguez, uh, thank you for being with, uh, with us and uh, telling us a little bit about Walnut. We appreciate your time. Thank you, Tim. Great to we be here. We will uh, see you all next time.